Friendly TV is a live TV streaming service at a really great price. All three plans include the same 40 plus channels. We've got A&E, Hallmark, Lifetime, MeTV, Weather Channel, and more. The classic plan is the one I recommend to most people. Unlimited cloud DVR storage, recording saved for up to three months, HD video, and two streams at once. All this for less than $10 a month. In today's video, I'm back with an updated friendly TV review, and I'm going to show you some new features of the app. Keep watching. I'm using a Roku for today's demonstration, but Friendly TV has a number of supported devices for TVs, computers, and phones. And this video is going to be helpful if you use any of them. Got a lot to show you, so let's get this app downloaded and installed from the Roku home screen. Navigate to search and then type in Friendly TV. And once the app populates in search, add the channel, go to the channel, and then sign in with your email and your password, the same email and password that you used to sign up on Friendly TV's website. Let's continue. When you sign in for the first time and every time after that, the Friendly TV Live Guide is going to show up first. And that's what you see here. At the top of the screen, you see movies, TV, and my recordings. I'm going to talk about all that stuff later. But as for the live guide, you see network logos and then two hours of programming on the screen at any given time. Notice the word live and a line that goes right down the guide. That indicates where you would join a program in progress. Let me give you a closer look. We'll use the Game Show Network's chain reaction. I click OK on my Roku remote and it doesn't take me directly to the show. No, instead I've got these options. Watch live, start over, and record. When I click OK again to watch it live, I'm taken to the show that's airing. But what if you want to channel surf while watching live TV? Well, I've got a couple things to show you. Arrow up twice on your Roku remote, and that'll reveal a mini guide along the top of your screen. Watch now. I'm going to switch channels to MeTV. Now that MeTV is playing, let's say you want to go back. In that case, press down on your Roku remote two times and then select Last Channel. I'm back on the Game Show Network, and now when I press down on my Roku remote a few times, a menu is going to appear, and it has a shortcut back to the main live guide. What you're seeing on the screen is what's airing right now as I'm recording this video. But Friendly TV's guide actually lets you go back in time, arrow left on your remote, and view the last 72 hours of content. But look here, in the bottom right corner of the guide, you see some shortcuts. And to get back to the real-time live guide, just select the instant replay key on your Roku remote. And then we're right back where we started. Let's say you want to preview content that's coming up later on. In that case, you can arrow to the right. But another option is to use those shortcuts on the bottom of the screen. Click rewind on your remote for the previous day and then fast forward for the next day. And by the way, Friendly TV's guide lets you preview content up to 10 days in advance. Now, I like to preview what's coming up to set recordings right from the guide. And here I've selected a and &E's Killer Cases. First, you'll click OK on Record. Then choose to record a single episode or all episodes. And finally, click OK to confirm. When you set a recording, you'll notice that it's highlighted directly from the live guide with that little record box. I've got that displayed here with the show Family Feud. Now, so far, I've showed you the default view of the live guide. This is the one that I prefer because it lists some of the most popular networks right at the top. But you can actually change the order of the guide right from the settings. Click back on your remote to jump to the top of the guide then arrow up to the top of the screen and then to the right to access the settings wheel. From here, you can switch the guide display to alphabetical if you want to. I've spent a lot of time showing you the live guide because that's really the home base for a lot of people, but there are also the on-demand sections for movies and TV. Let's take a look. These sections are very similar. I'll show you movies and you can see what's trending and what's airing right now. That is featured at the top of the screen. Right below that is continue watching there you can pick up on programs that you haven't finished. And not long ago, Friendly TV added a way for you to remove programs from this continue watching list. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to click OK on a program, and then you see that option to remove it on the far right of the screen. Let's keep moving further down the movie section. You're going to find other recommendations for on-demand content including the ability to sort by network. There's also this, the 72 hour look back feature, very useful. If you forget to set a recording, you can always find it here, but unfortunately, no fast forwarding on 72 hour look back content. That's why I always add shows to my DVR 
if I want to forward through the commercials. And speaking of that DVR, the movie section also highlights programs that are coming up soon so that you can set a recording in advance. I already mentioned the on-demand section for TV is very similar to movies, so I'm not going to go through that separately. Instead, let's talk more about the DVR. The My Recording section shows new recordings right at the top of the screen. Just click OK on any recording, watch, and then it'll play. But unlike 72-hour lookback content, you can fast forward when programs are added to your DVR. As I'm showing you here, this is an episode of Little House on the Prairie from Hallmark Drama. Aside from the Just Recorded section, your DVR is organized by TV shows, movies, even documentaries, and at the bottom there's a row for scheduled recordings. When you're recording a program with multiple episodes, like this example of Family Feud, there are some more sorting options for you. Just recorded, newest episodes, and oldest episodes. And although you get unlimited DVR storage, you may want to declutter your DVR so you can select OK on any program, and instead of watching it, Select Delete Recordings. You can delete single episodes, all episodes, and cancel future recordings. Now, if you're searching for something specific, it may be helpful to navigate to the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the screen and use the on-screen keyboard to search for whatever program you're after. And to the right of that magnifying glass is the settings wheel that I showed you earlier when we switched the live guide order. From the settings, you can also turn on captioning and adjust video quality and from a TV set, Friendly TV allows you to change your plan here. But to cancel, you can't do that unless you sign in on Friendly TV's website. Once signed into Friendly TV's website, look for that settings wheel again and then cancel subscription. After your cancellation is confirmed, you won't get a bill anymore, but you will be able to stream until the end of your billing cycle. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and I thank you for watching.